Hey, so you have a little extra time here in Udumchi. You don't want to be sitting in your hotel room, but then again, all the travel guides don't really give you too many options outside of the Grand Bazaar and maybe places that are a couple hours outside of the city. So what is there to do? Well, I'm going to introduce you to a place that I really enjoy. I always take people who are first-time visitors to Udumchi out here. It's the alleyways north of the Ardao Chal Market. The Ardao Chal Market is across the street from the Grand Bazaar, the more famous place here in Udumchi. But really, this is a great place to experience a lot of the Uyghur culture that you're not going to get to see in the main streets of Urumqi. So let's go ahead and take a look inside and see what you can see. What I love about this walk down the back alleys of Urumqi is that you get to see a side of the city. You get to see facets of the Uyghur culture that perhaps you wouldn't have had the opportunity to see on the main streets of the capital. So for instance, things like the mosque and witnessing a lot of the elder men sitting outside the mosque chatting, getting to look inside the stores that aren't necessarily selling things geared toward tourists, but rather practical items like clothing, rugs, Uyghur medicine, and so on. There is, of course, a lot of the food stalls that are selling everything from Uyghur bread to just hole-in-the-wall restaurants that you can try out. What I really love is when the night market comes alive and you get people of all ages just coming out to enjoy the cooler weather, especially during the summer. And that's when I suggest that you make sure you have some small bills handy because you're going to want to try things like Uyghur ice cream that you see here, which trust me when I say it tastes as good as it looks. You might even want a couple different servings. And it really is cheap. You're going to want to try the ice cream. You're going to want to try the fresh fruit that comes in from all different parts of the province and is absolutely sweet and delicious. You're going to want to try some of the drinks and snacks that perhaps you don't know exactly what it is, but you're going to want to give it, you know, give it a go anyway. There are, of course, things like liver kebabs and intestine soup that maybe may not seem as appetizing, but hey, at least you can take some photos. All in all, it's a side of the city that isn't geared toward tourists, and I think that's what I love most, is getting to see the real Urumqi. So if we're looking here at a map, you can see on Jiafeng Lu, we've got the Ardao Chao Market. The Ardao Chao Market's actually very long, and if you look to the right side, there's a road that goes all the way down on the north end of Ardao Chao Market. You're going to want to take that road, walk that road all the way down until you can get to the first road where you can take a right. And you're going to do so until you hit a hospital. It's going to be the tallest building that's around. That hospital is going to be the marker for you to turn right into the alley. And that alley is just going to wind around for a quite a long distance. And that is where you're going to begin your journey through this back alley of Urumqi.